Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use What's the T. I'm going to shuffle and then I'm going to turn down the music. And um, we're about to get into this energy. What's going on with your divine masculine? All right, we're going to get four more cards, and then we're going to get into this energy. One. All right. Okay, give me two more. Two. All righty. Okay, let me turn this down. Okay. So, it looked like the fine mask was... They got the packing his shit up, y'all. Moving out. The karmic right now is trying to kiss Divine Masculine's ass not to leave. Or she's trying to kiss his ass since he has left, okay? But he done packed all his shit up. Okay, let me turn this down a little more. Hold on. Okay. Divine Masculine packed his shit. Like I told y'all, this karmic is sitting up here trying to kiss his ass and trying to bring it back together. But it looked like Divine Masculine is really fed up, okay? Divine Masculine been sitting up here doing a lot of reflecting, thinking about and looking at his happiness. And he and this karmic does not no longer make him happy. He fed up with her bullshit, okay? All her ass do is, um, where'd it go? All uh, this bitch do is sit up here and party with her motherfucking karmic ass friends. I seen a karmic ass friends card somewhere. Where the damn card at? Oh, here it go. She be up here partying with her ugly ass karmic ass friends. Okay, that's all the shit, all the fuck that they do. And it looked like they do this shit every day, all day. This is the same shit that go down. Okay, she be up here neglecting the kids to other people. Have called children's services on this karmic and also probably divine masculine to call children's services on the karmic too. Because he he doesn't appreciate the way that she screams and at his child that he has with her, okay? Mm-hmm. It looked like divine masculine because um 
could be going to jail or or has been told that he can get locked up, okay, by children's services due to this child neglect that is going on within the household, who's to know? Okay, but the or divine masculine doesn't want to get locked up because of this karmic in no type of way, okay? But it looked like divine masculine been pe watching divine. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, because I looked at this damn card right here, and it's a divine fucking hater. This bitch is sitting up here getting readings on the divine masculine and divine feminine, okay? She trying to sit up here and see what's going on. And this karmic is getting readings, okay? But it's something that divine masculine seen, okay? And we also know it's something that that the karmic, okay, has seen, okay, and was told by this um, tarot reader that gave her the information to let her know that divine masculine wants to go back to divine feminine, okay? Divine masculine is ready to go back to the winning team, okay? Because he sees that divine feminine is getting all this different attention. She's beautiful. Her hair is always done. She's glowing. She's just that bitch, okay? And divine masculine wants a part of it, okay? Yes. Hold on, y'all. He wants to be back to with divine feminine, that boss bitch, okay? Divine masculine don't want to be a boss daddy player no more. He wants the divine feminine back, okay? And he's ready to sit up here and chase her, okay? And this is also what the tarot card reader told the karmic, okay? Mm-hmm. This karmic got a reading, okay? But divine masculine been sitting up here um, fed up with how his child has been um, treated. He's fed up on the different up and downs that's going on with the karmic. He also fed up about the karmic putting him in a third, um, third party situation. Okay. He don't want to be with her no more. Okay. He realized that this karmic ain't nothing but a groupie and she loves being up in every, every all type of different men's faces. Okay. Divine masculine has been walking around here acting like he's unbothered, but his ass is fed up and he done had enough. He said, the hell with that shit. He said, I'm always broke. I ain't got no money because I'm paying all the fucking bills. And I'm and I'm literally seeing that this bitch is fucking clout hungry, that she's willing to do anything for any attention, okay? This is a thirsty ass bitch, okay? Mm-hmm. And Divine Masculine sat up here and seen on her social media that she was up here being cloud hungry, talking to other men on social media. Okay. He was able to see it for himself. Divine Masculine got the screenshots, showed the karmic, and let her know that she got a bad reputation and that he wasn't fucking with her no more. Okay. He already wasn't sitting up here sleeping well, okay? But it's something that he seen that she was doing on the internet, okay, that he did not appreciate, okay? And then he got to realizing that this bitch is extra clout hungry, thirsty, okay? Her and her motherfucking karmic ass friends are some thirsty ass bitches that don't do nothing every day but sit up here and fucking party and sit up here and try to go where the party's at, okay? Divine Masculine got to sitting up here screenshotting, okay, what her and her ugly-ass friends be doing, okay? He came back to the karmic, okay? Where'd it go? And showed her what was going on. A fight broke out. It looked like he could have sat up here and got locked up, Okay? Because of something that he's seen. He's seen the karmic sitting up here being a groupie, being clout hungry, okay, on the internet, which gave her a bad reputation. It looked at real bad, whatever the karmic and her ugly ass friends was doing, okay? But he got them screenshots, okay? He was able to see with his own fucking eyes because he was watching and trying to see what was going on. And this type of shit go on all day, every day. And he just got to the point that he fucking fed up with the situation. He don't want to deal with this bitch nor her clout hungry ass fucking ways. Okay. He's been reflecting. Okay. And he's tired of seeing the same old shit all the fucking time, okay? It ain't nothing like when you can see something for your own self, okay? And Divine Master sees something that didn't rub him right. This bitch out here throwing pussy and ass 
at all type of different fucking people. Okay. And he done had enough on this bitch sitting up here putting him in a third party situation out here being a groupie and then got the nerve to want to come back home, want him to pay the bills. And he ended up broke. Uh uh-uh. He said enough is enough. He said, I'm tired of this obsessive ass fucking lover. OK, tired of this bitch making him feel like he better give the money up or, or else. OK, he's they've been arguing. They both been in their egos. OK. He been sitting up here trying to act unbothered, but he's sick and tired of the bullshit. He not playing that bullshit no more, okay? Mm-mm. The screenshots have set Divine Masculine free, okay? He sees that this relationship with the karmic is played the fuck out, and he don't want it no more. He sees that she got a low IQ, and all she got going for herself is her looks, and she's a fucking groupie. That she's never going to change her fucking thought clout ways, okay, and that he will continue being in third-party situations if he doesn't sit up here and separate himself away from this bitch, okay? Divine Masculine could have sat up here and got a reading on the karmic himself, okay? But it looked like the karmic, okay, been getting readings to try to sit up here and figure out on how she, and what she needs to do to kiss his ass because this Divine Masculine has moved the fuck out, okay? Mm-mm. He done, he, he done had enough. He moved the fuck out. No. Divine Masculine got fed the fuck up from what he seen and he said deuces to this bitch, okay? He was sitting on the couch one night thinking and everything else. He sit up here, don't like the way that she was that she screams at his kids. They could have got into an argument, okay? They could have got into an argument and a fight about how she was um treating his child and a fight could have broke out. Okay, and Divine Master could have ended up in jail, okay? But it looked like he got all his shit and moved the fuck out because he was fed up with this bullshit and fed up with always being broke, taking care of a thought, okay? And it looked... And it looked like once he did move out, he set up their call children services on her ass, too, to let them know that this bitch don't do nothing but party all day, okay? That she do this shit... Every day, all day, and all you got to do is go peep in her window, go knock at her door, and you will see that she's doing nothing but sitting up there partying with her and her ugly-ass friends, okay? Because they got, her and her friends got a low IQ, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. And they all clout hungry. And he ain't dealing with they ass no more, okay? And... This is my black magic um, card in this deck, okay? And her black magic ain't working no more either. Surely not. Let's see what else is going on. Let's see what what the karmic got to say. We gonna use the karmic exposed by Fire Witch Tarot and see how she feeling about the situation. So, um, karmic, what's going on with you? How do you feel about the situation? Hold on. How do you feel about the situation with Divine Masculine sitting up here leaving? Okay. What happened within that household that he just had enough? What did you do to make him be so fed up with your bullshit? Okay. What came out? What came out? Okay. What was going on up in that house with you and Divine Masculine that he got fed up and that he moved out? In your own words, what happened? Okay, damn, they fell on the floor. I ain't gonna bend all the way up under this desk to get that. What's going on? Okay. Give me two more cards. See what was going on. All right. Let's get one more for the road. All righty. Okay. So the karmic said up and said that she wasn't even happy with Divine Masculine and that she wanted out. Okay. But she continued to sit up here and be a trickster. Okay. Playing games and shit. Okay. That she was feeling very insecure. This is what was going on in the household, okay? The Vibe Masculine set up and said that the karmic was messing with his head, playing with his ass, okay? That divine that um the karmic was sick of seeing divine feminine win, 
okay, and that the, all they did was argue about divine feminine. All the karmic did was bring up her name, okay, because she was very insecure concerning divine feminine, okay. Divine Masculine was, says that he did not know how to escape that hell, but he finally got the courage up, and he came out of his ego, and he moved the hell out, okay. The, <clears throat> Divine Masculine and the Karmic said that all they do is fight up in their household. They continue to fight, okay. That's why he had to separate himself, okay, and that they continue to fight, and that's the reason that he ended up in jail, okay. They fight over how she disrespects his child that they have together, okay? They fight about how she's always partying, okay? How clout-hungry that her ass is, okay? And how played out that the relationship has begun, okay? That was the argument, okay? And they fight about her putting him in third-party situations, okay? And they also was fighting about her dumb-ass, ugly-ass friends, And Divine Masculine started telling the karmic that he knew exactly what she was doing, okay? Divine Masculine also says that the karmic was sitting up here suffocating him to the point that he couldn't breathe, okay? And they always fighting about give, give him some space, okay? Told you, after he farts, she tasted it, okay? This is how close she be, okay? And... Divine Masking got to seeing that the karmic had hidden agendas, okay? She had hidden agendas, and she was dealing with multiple different men. That's what they was arguing about, okay? What else was y'all arguing about? And they was also arguing about how the karmic always likes to play the victim. The karmic also was keeping secrets about third-party situations that came out, okay? Divine Masculine said that he started realizing that this was his lesson, this is his karma, okay? And that he started realizing that this karmic had a bad reputation, okay? And then he, he said that every time he tried to leave, that the karmic would sit up here and threaten him, okay? And that all she likes to sit up here and do is fight and argue, and then when he tries to leave, she threatens him. Okay, this is what this karmic did every day, all day. This was a, a regular routine that she did. Okay. And this bitch loves sitting up here playing a motherfucking victim, even though she the one with the bad fucking reputation. Okay, she like to play reverse psychology. Okay, she out here doing everything and some. Her and her dumbass friends because she's so jealous of Divine Feminine because she continues to win. But yet this bitch is sitting up here, out here having third-party situations, keeping secrets, and having hidden agendas. That's what the karmic was doing. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Okay, let me get another deck. Okay, let's let's see what's the immediate energy right at this moment. We're gonna use the Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Okay, what is going on right with you right at this moment, Divine Masculine? What's going on with you? And we also want to know what's going on with the karmic. What's going on with y'all right at this moment? Okay. Okay, what's going on? Okay, oh, they just flying. Alrighty. Give me three more cards. Alright, we'll take that. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. So right now, Divine Masculine is working on how to how he can sit up here and get a divorce and file on the right paperwork, okay, to be able to get out this loveless uh, marriage that he has been in, okay. 
That's what's going on at this moment. Divine Masculine wants to have a relationship with Divine Feminine again because he feels like they have unfinished business. He wants us to know that he is taking the mask off, okay, even though he has a family with her, that he's sitting up here um, doing change and having a rebirth, okay? He's taking the mask off. He makes the necessary changes to be able to sit up here and travel to his divine feminine, okay? He's rolling the dice and he's moving the fuck on, okay? And he no longer wants to be with the karmic, okay? Because the karmic... They was in a uh, toxic relationship. All they did was fight and argue all the fucking time, okay? This bitch had a low IQ. She liked starting shit. And then she would sit up here where to go. The karmic would sit up here and argue and sit up here and say that Divine Masculine is playing the player. But she is the one that was sitting up here having him in third-party situations, Okay. She has a bad reputation. She's a horrible ass fucking mother, and she's a horrible ass wife, and um, and horrible to be in a relationship with. And divine masculine knew that he had to sit up here and create change in his life. Okay, and he did. Okay, divine masculine was fed the fuck up. Okay, and divine masculine moved away and got all his shit and packed it up and got up out this toxic ass relationship. Divine Masculine starts sitting up here following his intuition. Divine Masculine starts seeing between the lines, okay? And he knows that that's not what he wants to do, okay? And after Divine Masculine was able to sit up here and see what this bitch was doing and how she was sitting up here clout hungry on the internet and how she was sitting up here Doing the most on social media, Divine Masculine had had enough, especially on what he was seeing. All they do is fight all fucking day long. That's all they do is fight. This bitch party and want to fight, okay? And he starts seeing between the lines on what he needed to do, okay? And what he wants back is his Divine Feminine. He wants to sit up here and go back to Divine Feminine because they got unfinished business. He has romantic feelings about her. That's all he thinks about. And he wants to be in a relationship with Divine Feminine. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's what's going on. And the karmic is talking about that she don't even want to be with him. I don't even want to be with him. But, bitch, yes, you do. You want to do every and anything. And now his ass is fed up and he don't want to be with your ass, okay? Let's be happy for Divine Masculine that he's taking his mask off, okay? And that he's from the, and that he has walked away from this um, family, okay? He has took himself up out that shit, okay? Because that relationship was so fucking toxic, okay? He felt so suffocated, okay? Tied down, okay? Mm mm. Divine masculine is traveling to you, divine feminine, so get ready. Yep. What else? Did I miss anything? Okay, all this karmic did was sit up here and leave his ass broke, want to spend all his money up, and wanted to fight, okay? And it looked like they had a fight the last time to the point. That Divine Masculine could have caught a case. It looked like Divine Masculine caught a case and that he sat up here and got locked up. Okay. Where is that locked up card at? Okay. Now the karmic want to sit up here and come and kiss his ass. Okay. Damn, where is that locked up card? I don't know what the hell I did with that card, y'all. Hmm, but this bitch is a this bitch. He got to seeing right between the lines that this karmic is sitting up here, um, a fucking trickster, okay? And she keep bullshit going, and this bitch don't like to do nothing but sit up here and argue and fight, okay? He got to he he just starts seeing her hidden agendas. He starts seeing on how fucking toxic this bitch really is, and the bitch really is very toxic, okay? The bitch got it bad on wanting to sit up here and put her hands on Divine Masculine, okay? And it looked like some shit went down, okay? It looked like a fight went down, okay? Yep. It looked like a fight went down, y'all. Hmm. 
Of why I'm asking God to see in between the lines why he sat up here, sat up in fucking jail. He said, this relationship is fucking toxic. After I get out of jail, I ain't dealing with this bitch no more, okay? He got his shit and moved the fuck out, okay? Yep. Divine Masculine caught a case on dealing with this karmic till he had no other choice. A tire moment came, okay? That after they got into that vicious last fight, that he caught a case, went to jail. Mm-hmm. And this is why, and, and all this shit happened because she was keeping secrets, lying, keeping him in third-party situations, out partying, sitting up here hanging out with other men, Okay. The relationship got even more toxic the last time. They got to fighting. The biomasculine ass got locked the fuck up and caught a fucking case. He had no other choice but to walk away from this bitch. And that's the truth, okay? So, yeah, but it looked like the karmic is sitting up here trying to kiss his ass but he and chase him, okay? But he ain't falling for none of the bullshit, okay? He rolling the dice and he getting the fuck far away from this bitch as he fucking can, okay? He traveled away from her ass. He said, deuces. Okay. Mm-mm. Yep. Yeah, he got all his shit. Because her ass is always in mother motherfuckers faces and everything. It looked like Divine Master could have that something got something got physical. It got physical this time. It always gets physical, but it looked like it got real physical to the point that somebody seen that this shit was getting physical. Somebody called the police. Okay. Yep. Somebody's seen them fighting. Okay. And that's what made the Divine Masculine end up in jail. Somebody's seen them fighting, called the police, the Divine Masculine caught a case. Now he realizes that that shit was played the fuck out. Okay. Did he set up here and um, called children's services on her dumb ass and said that she's neglecting his child. Okay. Divine Masculine even has screenshots, okay, showing, okay, he no longer wants to be in this marriage, okay, he filed for court paperwork, okay, because he see that marrying this bitch, she ain't nothing but a motherfucking trickster, that it was all a hidden agenda, Divine Masculine didn't know how bad her reputation was until he got involved. Now, Divine Ma and they all they did was sit up in each other's face, mad at each other, arguing all the fucking time. It was a very fucking toxic ass relationship. And this shit went on every day up in that household. Okay. Let's see what the future is going to be about. What does Spirit got to say? What advice do the Most High, our angels, our ancestors got to tell us, okay? Spirit, what do you sit up here and um, what's you gonna let us know moving forward, okay? Give me two more cards. What's gonna happen with Divine Masculine? All right. Okay, let me straighten them up and let's get to it. Okay, the um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Spirit wants you to know to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? Don't give up on love, Divine Masculine, just because you've been dealing with this fucking hot tamale-ass toxic bitch, okay? God said, keep on going forward. Everything is going to be fine. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So Divine Masculine sitting up here trying to get his money back up, okay? He working real hard to get his finances back to where he feels comfortable, okay? True love, this is a romantic, this is a romance of a lifetime. So Divine Masculine is realizing that Divine Feminine is a romance, okay, of a lifetime. Okay, let me turn this card over. Sorry. 
Okay, pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you. So Divine Masculine Spirit wants you to sit up here and pay attention to the red flag. Don't go back to dealing with that crazy, toxic-ass bitch. Keep on moving forward. Children, your love life is being affected by children. See, Divine Masculine would have sat up here and been back with Divine Feminine, but he tried to stick it out for the children, okay? And remind you, he done already called children services on this karmic. Okay, concerning his fucking child and the neglect that she sits up here and brings. Okay, so children is affecting, um, affecting this um union right now. Okay, because he's worried about his child with her past life relationship. You have known each other before, so divine masculine could be realizing that this is a past life relationship. Okay, that this is like no other. He cannot sit up here and um. Just be without you no more, okay? He's not denying the love that he has, and he's sitting up here um, reading between the lines, and he understands that now. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. So keep on speaking positivity because you know what you put out, it will come back, okay? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here it is a strong magnetic attraction to the divine feminine and the divine masculine calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations have um, helped to bring you together so we're going to end it there, y'all. But yep, the Divine Masculine then has enough. He done had enough of this crazy-ass, toxic-ass bitch. Okay? He realizing that that shit is played the fuck out. Okay? And you know that he's serious because he's tired of the way his child is treated. And he done called children's services to the point that this crazy-ass bitch could be having to go to court. He's going to take her ass to court to try to sit up here and get joint custody or full custody of this child, okay? But Divine Masculine is also working through um, catching this case going to jail when this last big fight broke out. So okay, that's what the 411 is, y'all. So please subscribe and um, thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll be back with another reading, okay?